Hey, uh, my name is Anne Lillian. I am a lupus scleroderma fighter. Um, I live in Dallas, Texas. Um, I want to take you through my autoimmune journey and to let us know about lupus and spread awareness and see how as a community we can do better to spread awareness and uh, promote uh, you know autoimmune disease awareness so um, my story is very very short um, I was diagnosed with lupus uh, in the year of 2013 um, it, it took a while before I was diagnosed because my symptoms were just fatigue headache and swelling so the doctors were trying to figure out why I have the swelling, why I have the joint pain, why I'm having, you know, all these day-to-day uh, -day pains and fatigue. And because they were very vague symptoms, uh, they were not able to give me, like, treatment uh, immediately. So I was sent to, uh, I actually fell at work. Uh, they called an ambulance for me. Long story short, I was taken to the hospital where I was for a period of time. And at that time, they, uh, they discovered that I had lupus. So, what is lupus in itself? Lupus is an autoimmune disease where your body does not recognize some of your organs, some of your body parts, some of your joints, um, and it starts attacking your body. Like your body, it's not yours. And what it does, it causes a lot of inflammation with a lot of pain and a lot of fatigue. So, with that said, um, it doesn't matter what it attacks. If it attacks an organ, that organ is probably gonna, you're probably gonna need another organ. Like uh, if it attacks your kidney, sometimes we have uh, lupus warriors who go through dialysis and end up having a kidney transplant or even end up losing their lives because the kidneys fail to function. So that is how lupus is. Sometimes it would attack your skin, that is called discoid lupus it just attacks your whole skin and uh, it makes like uh, you have like erosion of skin um, and wounds that you need treatment for and you have to see a doctor for that treatment too so it, it, it's just like a painful way of living your life um, without a cure let's put it in short time it doesn't have a cure the doctors have said that there's no cure the only way they can prevent progression is giving you medication to slow the progression but not to cure the, uh, the disease. Most of the autoimmune diseases do not have a cure. So how has uh, lupus attacked my life? Lupus has attacked my joints, it has attacked my liver, it has attacked my lungs, and um, it has also attacked my CNS, like a central nervous system, that is the brain. The way uh, lupus attacks your brain is that you have something they call brain fog. So you forget like really small things in life and uh, you have like a types of disorganized thoughts. That is one way when you have uh, CNS involvement or, or the central nervous system involvement, the brain. Some people usually have stroke. I have seen some lupus warriors who have had a stroke from lupus. And I have had some lupus, uh, lupus warriors who have had uh, seizures from lupus. So you don't know where it's gonna attack. It's just gonna attack what it, uh, the disease believes is not a part of your body. Uh, sometimes it can attack your blood and cause your clotting factors not to work as much as they're supposed to. And then your blood clots and it causes blood clots in your body and then you end up with uh, pulmonary embolism. So it's a very fatal disease to say the least. And uh, without a cure, my job is to spread awareness and to let people know what lupus is. And you know, the more we know, the more we can do research, the more we can get hope for a cure. So to say the least, um, I have had uh, you know, my own share of hospitalizations and uh, you know, hospital visits. And uh, people might ask me, why do you go to the hospital and what happens or how are you able to manage? Um, there's no any single doctor that is able to treat lupus or even to manage the symptoms of lupus. So I go to my main lupus doctor, a rheumatologist, uh, that is the one who makes sure that uh, my labs for lupus are okay, the medication for lupus are okay. 
And because I have problems with my lungs, I go to the lung doctor, a pulmonologist, a pulmonologist they do tests like a pulmonary function test and stuff like that to make sure that my lungs are working okay. And if something is happening with that, like shortness of breath that I ended up in the hospital, they can make sure that I'm back up to functioning like normal to be able to go back to my daily work. Uh, sometimes it's joint pain and sometimes it's just like fatigue and you know you you feel like general weakness that is not normal and the ear visits are like very frequent sometimes we suffer in pain just because you don't want to go too often to the hospital but sometimes it's really a must must you go because like uh, the general weakness and mostly pain and fatigue um, if those are unbearable, we go to the hospital and that is what is called a flare-up. It's just where your body is so much inflamed that the pain is so incredible, uh, it's so much incredible that you cannot be able to do your daily activities or daily living. So you're, you just go to the doctor so that they can check up on you and they will run a few labs and they will see where your body is inflamed and they will try to treat that particular uh, uh, inflammation. From there on out, um, so it's just like doctor's appointments, like doctor's appointments. I have another autoimmune disease called a scrolldoma. A scrolldoma is where your body does not know when to stop producing um, scar tissue. So it deposits scar tissue in your body, in your organs. So what scrolldoma has done in my life, and um, you see colors trigger me. They, they, they bring out something in me that um, this is how I survive. If I see a color, it reminds me of a condition. I should not have to, but it does. So, scrolldoma is has damaged my GI system from my swallowing all the way to my stomach. So, teal, this is the teal green, is the color for scrolldoma. So I used to wear them, but because of the hardening of my, you know, the hardening of and the scar tissue and all that, and you can see I just came from the hospital yesterday, this is where they had put the tape. Uh, because of that, I don't want to wear so much on my hands. But as you see, when I get that out, it triggers me because it reminds me of what I'm fighting. This is just a reminder that I have fought and I'm still fighting and how far and how strong I have become in each and every day. Um, I have what they call a TMJ where my jaw is inflamed like right here. I don't even know what caused it. It's just like when your body attacks itself without knowing why it's attacking itself. So the TMJ I have to go to uh, an audiologist, an ear, ENT, ear, nose and throat doctor. So they are going to go and check my hearing and they are also going to go check uh, why, how much the inflammation of my jaw is. And then after that I have a neurologist appointment because I have the brain involvement with lupus. So they want to see how much the brain damage is done. So they are going to probably do an MRI and that to follow up and see how much that is done. So there is a lot of doctor's appointments and doctor's visits and a lot of testings involved. I also see a cardiologist and I see a cardiologist uh, twice a year unless there is new changes and they also do what they call uh, an echocardiogram and they do it with a bubble so that they can see how lupus is reacting with my heart. Um, I remember uh, like uh, four years ago my rheumatologist used to tell me I pray that, your, uh, that the lupus doesn't ever hit your heart or I pray that your lupus never ever hit your lungs. Well, now it's in my lungs, so I have to make sure to have to take precautions that it doesn't go to my heart. And if it does, we can catch it in a timely manner because then after that, the prognosis, if it gets to your heart, the prognosis actually changes and it, uh, it lowers your you know, survival rate uh, by half. That is what my rheumatologist has told me. So it, it's just like, um, a disease that is very strange, yet very dangerous, yet very unknown. It's just like as dangerous as cancer, yet not as much known as cancer. It's, it does not do the same damage as cancer, but I can surprise you by telling you they use the same medication 
for cancer treatment to treat lupus for some patients. Like they can use chemo to treat lupus. Um, and they use infusions which I go to like twice a month, two days in a row, six and a half hours each day. Like at times I can wake up, like um, when I have infusions, as I mentioned, I usually go to infusion clinic twice, uh, twice a month, two days in a row for six and a half hours. And I have to go to work first. So I have to wake up super early. Like I would wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning, listen to my body, listen to the pain, try to, you know, feel how my body is feeling. You know, I cannot just wake up and just go like that, like anybody can. My body does not allow me to do that. Lucas, it's very painful mostly in the morning. Um, I, my joints are so tired and tight, they are painful. So, if I wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning, yes, I'm a lot. Yes, I'm up, but I cannot be able to move out of bed in the next like uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes, up to an hour some days. Some days my daughter helps me to get dressed, to get to work. And uh, as my day moves, as my muscles relax, I'm able to get back to the new normal. Because, um, you know, there's still that discomfort throughout the day, there's still that pain throughout the day. That is my new normal, you know. So um, it, it's very, very hard to just wake up and go. So days that I have infusion, I wake up at four, get to work by six, get to the infusion clinic by 11 and then work throughout as I get my infusion. The reason I do that is because I have a push to survive. You know, I, I have to have the insurance, I have to pay my bills, I have to raise a child by myself. So I have to do what I have to do to, to make a living. But also, you know, money is tight when you have to, um, to do all that. Um, and so I rely on us, you know, as awareness t-shirts and awareness bubbles to, to spread awareness and uh, to support me uh, with my, uh, you know, to supplement my income because what I get from my job is not, in, uh, is not enough to, you know, to survive on. And um, sometimes it's really hard that uh, my family in Kenya actually supports me with, uh, they support me financially. More often than not, I make that call um, because I don't have like the cash. I googled out of curiosity to see how much a lupus survivor or a lupus warrior spends in average uh, with medical bills and medical concerns. And I was surprised to see I don't even have that kind of money. It's $28,000. Uh, That's a lot of money per year. And that is average. It could be much more, it could be much less. Most, an average of the lupus warriors actually are on disability because they are so weak that they cannot work. They are so debilitated that they are not able to work. But I try as much as I can to be able to get to work. I know it's hard on many days than not, you know, to just wake up in the morning and just go to work. But I had that willpower, the willpower to fight and the willpower to survive. And I feel like um, if I keep on pushing, probably if I spread awareness, one day we'll have a cure. And that is why I keep on saying about the t-shirts and, you know, the t-shirts, the awareness bracelets and the awareness hoodies. I want to promote that. That will help me get a supplement. Again, I say that because that is, you know, that is my major way of surviving the awareness bracelets and hoodies and t-shirts. I have hope that one day we'll get a cure. So if I sell this, you spread awareness, the money that we get pays for my medical bills. That is how I have learned to, you know, to survive and supplement. The medical bubbles, the awareness bracelets are like this one. I wear purple because purple is the color for lupus. The t-shirts are just $20. I also have some hoodies. Um, I know it's summer in the US, but it's always good to have them. The hoodies are $30. This is a very good way of uh, spreading awareness as well as supporting me uh, with, my medical, with my medical bills. I also have the bracelets. So if you want one of these, it's just $10. Like this one, exactly like this one says Brave. I have exactly like this one that says Warrior. And I have a few of those that says Warrior because I believe 
that I am a warrior and I feel like God, you know, when you have a very, you know, a very bad battle that you have to fight and you have called God and, you know, he doesn't give the, you know, the worst battles to the weak people. You have to have to have the strength to fight it. I feel like I was given this fight because and I was put on the front line of the battle because I am a warrior and I am that strong and I feel that in my heart that I can beat lupus and I can beat scrawldoma and any autoimmune disease that we may have. So that is, I have all that. There are too many colors for me to just show each one and all of them but I have a website which you are going to put down there. My phone number is 707-843-1778. 707-843-1778 we are just going to put it on the display and my facebook my face i have a facebook group that supports uh, people going through autoimmune diseases we support each other because we know how hard it is to fight and we also encourage you know everybody who can who wants to learn more about the autoimmune diseases to come and join us on my social media the groups and, and the facebook pages we are going to put them all down there and you can reach me anytime through any of the social medias or my email we are going to post all of them there so that you can see and you can let me know how i can you know how we can help each other spread awareness and if you want to support me with any of these products they are going to be available they are available and i'll make sure that uh, the shipping is included again bracelets are just ten dollars the hoodies are thirty dollars and the t-shirts are just twenty dollars shipping included i'll ship them your way so thank you so so much for letting me um you know in your main stand uh, to, to spread awareness and you know thank you for your all your support and love and if you want to get in touch with me all my contacts will be available um down there somewhere